In this video, we are looking at displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Displacement is like distance, but with a direction. So a distance could be five meters. A displacement is five meters east. So a distance, but with a direction. We measure displacement in meters. The velocity is the rate of change of the displacement. We measure that in meters per second. And acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity. So that's meters per second per second or meters per second squared. So on a displacement time graph, the gradient is the velocity. So on a distance time graph, displacement time graph, the gradient is the velocity. So there's no gradient, there's no velocity. It's not moving, it's stationary. So for a displacement time graph, the gradient is the velocity. On a velocity time graph, the gradient is the rate of change of the velocity. So the gradient on a velocity time graph is the acceleration. So what does this mean for differentiation? If you differentiate displacement, you get velocity. And if you differentiate velocity, you get acceleration. So if you differentiate displacement, you get velocity. If you differentiate velocity, you get acceleration. So here's a question. We've got a particle moving along a straight line. The fixed point O lies on this line. The displacement of the particle from O at time t seconds, where t is bigger or equal to zero, is s meters, where s equals t cubed minus 5t squared plus 2t plus 1. Find the velocity when t equals 5. So to find the velocity, velocity is going to be this differentiated. So if we differentiate this, we get the velocity. Displacement differentiated gives us velocity. So we could write that as V is equal to dS dt. The velocity is this differentiated. To differentiate, we times by the power and then take one off the power. So t cubed times by 3, so 3t, and then take one off the power, 3 take away 1 is 2. Negative 5t squared times by the power gives us negative 10, and then take one off the power, 2 take away 1 is 1. And for 2t, the gradient is 2, and 1 has got no gradient, so our velocity is 3t squared minus 10t plus 2. We want the velocity when t is 5. So let's substitute in t is 5. So you can use a calculator here. Just type it in, you'll get the answer. We've got 75 take away 50, which is 25 plus 2, 27 meters per second. So velocity is in meters per second. Displacement was in meters and time was in seconds. So velocity is meters per second. Okay, a question for you to try. Pause the video and give this a go. Okay, so again, a particle moving on a straight line. Displacement from O at T seconds is and this time we've got the displacement s is 2t cubed minus 5t plus 1. We want the velocity. To find velocity, we differentiate displacement. So v is, we're going to times by the power and take one off the power. 2, 3 is a 6. And 3 take away 1 is 2. Negative 5t has got a gradient of negative 5 and 1 disappears. So v is 6t squared minus 5 when t is 2. 
v is 6 times 2 squared minus 5. So 6 4s are 24. 24 take away 5 is 19. So we've got 19 meters per second. Okay, here's another question. Here's another example. A particle moves along a straight line. The fixed point O lies on the line. The displacement of the particle from O at t seconds, where t is bigger than zero, is s meters, where s is t cubed minus 2t squared minus 7t plus 5. Find the value of t for which the particle is instantaneously at rest. So it's instantaneously at rest when the velocity is zero. How can we find where the velocity is zero? We need to find the velocity, which is the displacement differentiated. So V is this differentiated. So times by the power and take one off the power. T cubed differentiated is three T squared minus two T squared becomes minus 4t, minus 7t goes to minus 7, and the 5 disappears. It's got no gradient. So there's our velocity. We want to know when it's equal to 0. So when is the velocity equal to 0? When 3t squared minus 4t minus 7 is equal to 0. So we want to solve this quadratic. So we can, if we can factorize, we'll use that first. Otherwise, use the quadratic formula. I think it factorizes. So 3t in both, 3t in one bracket, t in the other. And we want a 7 and a 1. We want minus 7 plus 3 to give us our negative 4. There's lots of different ways of factorizing these. Whichever method you're comfortable with, use that. So what makes the first bracket zero? T would have to be seven thirds. And for the second bracket to be zero, T would be negative one. I've got two answers here. But remember, T has got to be bigger than zero. So it can't be negative one. So T is seven thirds. So it's instantaneously at rest after two and one third seconds. And one of these for you to try. So pause the video and give this question a go. So it's the same question. We've got displacement given to us. So S equals one third T cubed minus three T squared minus 16 T plus two. And we want to know where it's instantaneously at rest. So we want to know the value of T for which V equals zero. So let's find the velocity. So we're differentiating the displacement. So a third times three is one. 3 take away 1 is 2, so we've got t squared. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. 2 take away 1 is 1. And, well, the gradient of negative 16t is negative 16. And the 2's got no gradient. So we want to know whether this is equal to 0. So t squared minus 6t minus 16 equals 0. So again, we can factorize t times t makes t squared. What multiplies to give us a negative 16 and adds to give a negative 6? It's 8 times 2, and it's plus 2 take away 8. So t is 8, or t is negative 2. We can't have a negative t. We're told that in the question. So T is eight seconds. And another example. So this time a particle moves along a straight line. 
the fixed point O lies on the line, the displacement of the particle from O at T seconds, where T is bigger than zero, is S meters. So again, we're given the displacement. This time, we want to work out the acceleration. So we can get the velocity by differentiating the displacement. We'll do that first, and then we'll get the acceleration by differentiating the velocity. So times by the power and take one off the power. So 3t squared minus 12t plus 2. So times by the power, take one off the power, and that gives us our velocity. So to get the acceleration, we need to differentiate again. Acceleration is the velocity differentiated. So times by the power and take one off the power. So the acceleration is 6t minus 12. We want to know the acceleration when t equals 3. So it'll be 6 threes take away 12. 18 take away 12 is 6. And that's meters per second squared. It's acceleration which we're measuring in meters per second squared. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video and give this a go. So it's the same question. We're given the displacement. We want to know acceleration. So we can differentiate displacement to get velocity. So times by the power and take one off the power. Two threes are six. Three take away one is two. Four twos are eight. Two take away one is one. And negative 70 has got a gradient of negative seven. One's got no gradient. So that's our velocity. Our acceleration is the velocity differentiated. So times by the power and take one off the power. 12t plus eight. That's the acceleration. When t is two, we've got 12 twos plus eight. 24 plus eight is 32 and it's acceleration meters per second squared. And one more example. So again, a particle on a straight line with a fixed point O on the line, the displacement from that point at T seconds is S meters where S is T cubed minus 4t squared minus t plus 8. Find the value of t for which the acceleration of the particle is 7 meters per second squared. So again we're finding acceleration. So we get velocity by differentiating the displacement. The velocity is ds dt and then the acceleration is dv dt. So we're going to differentiate twice. So to differentiate, we're timesing by the power and taking one off the power. So t cubed gives us 3t squared minus 4t squared. So that's minus 8t. We've got minus 1t, which has got a gradient of minus 1. And 8's got no gradient. So let's have velocity. To get the acceleration, we differentiate again. So times by the power, 3, 2 is a 6. Take 1 off the power, 2 take away 1 is 1. And then negative 8t has got a gradient of negative 8. Negative 1's got no gradient. So our acceleration is 6t minus 8. We want to know where acceleration is 7. So where 6t minus 8 is equal to 7. So we're solving for t. Add 8 to both sides. 6t is 15. And divide both sides by 6. So t is 15 over 6. Or 5 over 2. Seconds. 2.5 seconds or 5 over 2 seconds. 
and one of these for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. So again, we're given displacement. We want acceleration. So we're going to differentiate to get velocity and then differentiate again to get acceleration. So the displacement differentiated gives us 3t squared minus 6t plus 7. And this differentiated again gives us 6t minus 6. We want to know where the acceleration is 3. So 6t minus 6 is 3. Add 6 to both sides. 6t equals 9. And divide both sides by 6. So we've got 9 sixths or 3 over 2. So one and a half seconds.